Good morning. Hey, thanks for uh, jumping on and, and um, giving me a few minutes to share something dear to my heart this morning. Um, I want to share a message of empowerment. Um, I was just really reflecting this morning on the challenges that are going on um, around us, around the world, and uh, the, the fear um, that's happening and people are really feeling. And I really want to honor that. But I wanted to share the message of, um, you know, kind of taking your power back. Um, our family has been doing this um, uh, much more in the last five, five and a half years, um, just by shifting the way we, uh, you know, live and the way we uh, look at our health. And that really started with me um, kind of uh, looking within and, and realizing that, all of that fear that I was um, taking in and projecting uh, through everything going on in the outside was just feeding um, the problems. And so this situation um, that's going on right now with um, the different virus concerns and and the immune system issues um, is like an opportunity to see what can we possibly uh, do um, to help this. And I want to give some suggestions, some things that um, we're doing uh, that have been very empowering and have definitely changed the way that we live. Um, and that is really just knowing that um, the story we tell ourselves, uh, the thoughts that we're having, you know, are they fear based? Are they true? Or are they um, just, you know, fed by social media, the news, everything external, right? There's a lot of talk and a lot of concerns right now that, yes, there is definitely um, some health issues going on. But it, if you really keep it in perspective, it's like there are so many blessings and we are so much more powerful um, and, and our body's ability uh, to do what it was designed to do is so much more capable than we realize. And so um, the first thing I would really encourage is I look at this as an opportunity to really start to look within and see, like, how can we have better quality of life? Um, because this stuff is going to continue to happen, especially with the 24 hours a day media um, and news cycle, uh, it's just getting worse. And, you know, five and a half years ago, uh, when we all kind of had, you know, a health story and room for, you know, major improvement, um, I realized that I couldn't keep feeding into all that. Um, it wasn't benefiting my family. I wasn't keeping anybody any more safe. Um, and it was really a detriment. So, what we've done, um, especially myself, who fed on a lot of that fear, was we limit, you know, our news. I, I don't watch the news. Um, it's not that I'm in denial. It's just I know that God is way bigger than any of this and that the power is, is in prayer and, um, you know, really being in gratitude and just loving things loving folks, loving ourselves, loving me first so that I can love others in a more healthy way. And so um, limiting the news is I highly recommend and it takes time. You know, it's a habit. Um, it's something that we've always thought we needed to have, uh, but it's different today. It's not the news that we grew up with um, when I was a kid. Um, and I'm sure a lot of people feel that way. Um, second is uh, the thoughts, you know, and the energy that you're feeling. Um, I had a tremendous history of anxiety and worry. I was a chronic worrier. And that has been a journey of mine in letting go of that story the last five years. Uh, because it's not who I am. It's not how God designed me. And it's not the power that I know is within me. And so I began to really... Um, you know, find some great mentors, and I encourage you. There's amazing videos on YouTube, tons of free resources. And, um, you know, look at your thoughts. And 
where are the thoughts coming from? A lot of times it is external things that are feeding it. And ask yourself, is it true? I mean, it's such a simple question. And you can really, um, you know, unravel that energy of that thought uh, just by asking if it's true. Um, and that's been a huge change for me. Uh, my husband, too, will have great conversation. And if one of us is kind of thinking or, or you know, heard something or whatever, we will share it with each other and we'll, we'll truly ask, you know, is, is that true? And most of the time it's not. Um, and the other thing is we'll be like, I'm not signing up for that circus. And that's just a little, you know, funny little statement, but it gets us in check. And says, hey, you know, this is not our battle. And so that's been very empowering. And it's been a, a, a road of growth. And it continues to be um, using this opportunity to look look within and see like, okay, so I'm feeling a little fearful about, you know, potential of, of these type of things happening, like to our family, to our loved ones, whatever. Okay, so we have an amazing immune system that is very, very powerful and capable. Look within. Am, am I doing the best that I can? You know, am I am I taking care of myself? A lot of times New Year's is a huge time people are like, oh, I'm going to get healthy and I'm going to, okay, well, it's March now and it's been winter and, you know, it's not been fun being stuck in the house or whatever with the weather and and spring is here. I mean, it's here. It's a great time to start feeding yourself um, and, you know, loving yourself. And that will make you feel so much more empowered than worrying about what could potentially happen. So drinking more water, spending more time outside, um, which is what our body and our, our mind, our spirit wants. That's that's where the freedom is. Um, and, and vitamin D. Um, supplementing that or else uh, vitamin uh, sun, you know, getting sun, um, which is coming. And that will make you feel so much better, um, you know, by limiting the time on the TV, the news, whatever, scrolling on, on social media and seeing all the fear. Um, you know, just go back to the basics. And that's what we're doing. And, um, you know, feeding our immune system. We have found huge tools that I would be happy to share that are empowering and activate your own body's ability. And it has been a game changer for us. Um, we all had a major story and our lives have totally shifted for the positive and they continue to grow and get better. And we're constantly learning, right? And doing new things that are even, even better for us and make us feel even stronger and, and more positive. So, um, you know, use the opportunity of this situation to grow and, you know, take your, take your power back. So that was, you know, strong on my heart this morning. And I am so excited for the future. And I think we just live in an amazing world, an amazing country with beautiful people. And um, we have so much to give and so much love to share that I just I just want you guys to know, you know, I love you dearly and we are praying for everyone and and just so much gratitude. Um, you know, look up. It's amazing. All right. And if, if anyone needs encouragement, message me. I, I know it's a challenging time, but guys, we we are so strong. And um, it's, it's a beautiful time to be alive. So anyways, love you all. Have an amazing day. Blessings.